Welcome to Chandwell. My name's Michael and I'm building a curved hotel that joins Station Road to High Street at the front of my N-gauge layout. In this episode, I will show how I started the build. So let's take a look at scratch building in card, starting a curved hotel. In the last video, I showed how I worked out the hotel's floor plan. I have decided to build the hotel as three separate wedges, which I will glue together at the end. I printed the components for the first wedge onto an A4 sticky label, and I stuck this to a sheet of 1mm thick grey board. 1mm card is thin enough to cut easily, but is sturdy enough to act as the base of model buildings. I use a craft knife and steel rule to cut the straight edges, and a scalpel with 10A blade to cut the curves freehand. Gentle strokes make staying on the line easier. I used Inkscape to trim the components by the width of the card where I am using butt joins. As the front will be half a millimetre and the back one millimetre, I mark on the gables which is the front and which is the back. I must get this perfectly square otherwise the whole building will be skewed. These York Magnetic Mates help here. I apply PVA glue to the join and I place them together in the magnetic clamps. The pieces are quite large and the bottom was curving away from the gable slightly. I used a bit of tape to hold them together while the glue set, within the clamps to keep the angles straight. It's simple to pull the tape off again once the glue is dry. I repeat the process for the top support which runs roughly where the roof starts. The other gable just glues onto the two supports. I use tape again to hold them in place. I take care to get the edges as smoothly aligned as possible, and then I put the wedge aside to work on the front. The front is printed to label and stuck to half millimetre card. The half mil card is easy to bend without creasing, but I also use a series of parallel guidelines as score marks. I gently score these with the scalpel, taking care to go right through the label, but only part way through the card. I cut the window apertures using the scalpel. I use the ruler for the straight lines, but I do the curved elements freehand. I always turn the card rather than the knife for best results. With the score marks done, the card curves nicely. Some minor adjusting and some tape help secure it in the right position while the glue sets. The front is only half a millimetre thick at this point and it's not very strong. I also want the window apertures to be deeper than half a millimetre. So I prepare another frontage, just a little smaller around the edges, cover it in glue and slot it inside behind the original frontage. I decided to do it this way so that any irregularities caused by the curving nature are hidden on the inside rather than visible on the outside. I reinforced the gables with another layer of 1mm card. The joins are now all overlapping and the structure is very strong. I use a nail file to remove any slight overlaps that remain. I use Inkscape to prepare a textured wrap. The gable has a ghost sign at the top and white painted stones at the bottom. This will be the yard of wharf motors and will be grimy and full of junk once the building is finished. White dots are guides for where the hotel's name letters will be. I had the ends of a score line to help me fold the edges. I make two small incisions on the guides, turn the paper over and use the back of my scalpel to join the two incisions. This gives a lovely crisp fold without breaking the printed surface. I cut it out and then just gently wrap it around the glued building. It's a little awkward getting the windows sorted out because my big hands need to fit inside the building, but I slice through the covering with my scalpel from the outside, squeeze some glue onto the flaps, and use my crochet hook to fold the flaps around the base layer. This gives me a very strong starting point to detail the hotel and bring it to life. This part of the building has taken me 7 hours, which brings the total to 15 hours. For this video, I used 
five sheets of A4 sticky labels, a little sellotape, three sheets of one millimetre card, one sheet of half millimetre card, two snap-offs of my knife blade, one 10A scalpel blade, two sheets of photo paper, and I filled up with 17 grams of thick PVA and 16 grams of thin PVA. This brings the total cost of Station Road so far to £2.26. I'm starting work on the entrance hall next, which will tie the two wedges together. I've been sharing progress photos with my channel members. If you'd like to see these too, please consider joining my channel using this button here. Here's a look at the start of my last epic build, the Royal Scott Hotel. Join me next time to see the entrance hall. Until then, thank you for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.